One of the unit's newest equine recruits is Paddy. He's on a six-month probationary training period, during which his suitability to becoming a fully-fledged police horse has been closely monitored. Today, he'll be taking his final test, and it's up to his groom, team leader Anne Firth, to make sure that he's looking his best. He was 10 years old when he came to us, so he's already matured in his head, and he's, he's just got such a lovely temperament. The horses working for Greater Manchester Police have a range of experience and abilities. The reason Paddy was chosen was because of his overall fitness and because he'd been ridden by a variety of people. Police horses have to be accepting of different riders on their backs. Being an Irish draft crossbreed, he has a calm and confident nature that is perfect for the job. It's not only a big day for Paddy, but also for his trainer, Howard Tinsley. They're looking for the approval of Chief Inspector Lynn Roby. She'll be riding Paddy around the city centre in a final assessment, and they're hoping that she will decide that Paddy has made the grade. This is quite big, isn't it? It's enormous. Doesn't mind the plaxons going or anything yeah. like that. It does, after a while, begin to fidget a little. Lynn wants to assess how Paddy will cope at a standstill in the heart of the city. Sometimes the police horses have to come round this area and, and wait, as well as supervising and being on the move. So he's got to get used to that as well and not be impatient. And as you can see, he's great. <laughs> it's good three, four months since he's been into the city. And at first I thought, well, how is he going to perform? And he's just proved his worth all the way through the patrol. He's very confident in the traffic. Um, we've gone through, as you've seen, all kinds of traffic today, lots of buses, lots of wagons, very close up as well, right next to him at some of the traffic lights. And he's been excellent. And we've even given him a little bit of a trot and, you know, you're able to have a good trot on him and he doesn't get wound up, he just calms down again and reverts to patrol mode. Yep, all okay. He has just been a little yeah. bit impatient at the traffic light which is anti, but yeah, that's just... not, nothing to worry about. I am confident they make a good police horse. Um, you know, some of our existing fully trained horses, that, as we've said, they're all individual characters and they've all got the strengths and weaknesses, shall we say. Um, you know, and sometimes you could bring one of them through the city centre here and, you know, not have as good a ride as, as I've had on Paddy today because they are, they are all individuals. He's been absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm really pleased with his progress. I think Howard has done a brilliant job with him. <laughs> He's got his fingers crossed all the way around. Yeah, those two. <laughs> It'll be a great joy for me to know that I've actually trained him up and got him to work as a police horse. I'm proud of him, really, for the, the fact that he will be passed on and he'll be able to work happily with the officers without my guidance. <laughs>